The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. going. Um, I have Bob Gillespie here with me, Robert Gillespie, and I'm at the Wabash Shriners. We're having a, we just had a meal. Great meal, Bob. Great meal. A lot of people at home don't realize what the Shriners are about. First, to, to become a Shriner, you have to go through what's called the Blue Lodge. Isn't that right? Yep. Blue Lodge is like the learning process of becoming... The foundation. The foundation of it, isn't it? But then once you graduate, and then, and you have to believe in God in order to be, to be a Mason. So, um, and <clears throat> so tell us about um, the Shriners. Well, once you're in the Masonic Lodge, mm -hmm. you can go into the Eastern Star, you can go into the Scottish Rite, mm -hmm. you went the other route. Yeah, I went, I, I went the... Um, um, Knights Templar. Knights Templar. Okay, then once, then you go into the Shriner. The Shriners, we have 22 hospitals in the country. 20 of them in, in, the, in the United States, one in Mexico, and one in Canada. In order to get in, you have to be 18 or younger and have a physical condition that nobody knows what to do with, and they know how to take care of it. We've got two in Wabash County right now we've helped. One is a crypt. One is a little boy that has brittle bone disease, and we've still got him under control. And from there out, it takes about two million dollars a day to keep our hospitals going. So we're quite a philanthropical company because we give a lot of money away, and all the all the children gets in free. They don't have to pay a dime. And you have fundraisers each year. We have you? fundraisers. We have a fly-in breakfast in, in the airport, mm -hmm. and we have a gun raffle, a horse show. Fishing tournament. We yeah. got a fishing derby. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of activity in order to raise money for any, any oh, beneficiary, yeah. any, anybody that needs help. Thank you, Bob. Thank you so much. <coughs> I, and, um, <laughs> <laughs> Here is an, a little box. I'd like to pass this around. Check it out real good. Make sure that it's empty. Check it out good. Okay. I've had one people say. One person said, would you get that little baby talking? I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> That's bad. That is bad. That's bad. Yeah. Again, how old are you? Oh, okay, and this is Bob again. Okay. It's, uh, it's the box being done examined or not? It's right here. Does it look empty to you? Yeah. Yeah. Bang it on the table. It won't come out. Yeah, try it. That's good. You're examining it very well. I like it. <laughs> I could see him doing a fine job. Yes, they did. Five in. I got a lot of good people here that knows. Okay, let me see the box. So. 
okay? As you see, definitely empty, okay? And um, I'm going to have you guard this box for me, would you? This empty box, okay? Um, I'm going to have, I'm going to put it around the table, right in front of you, like this, like that, okay? Would you put your hand on top of that box and keep your hand on top, okay? Okay, good. Don't let me in that box. There's a term called misdirection. What that means is I'm going to try to disturb your mind there and get in that box. Your job is not to let me, okay? All right? Okay, that's your job. You got them shuffled up? Okay. Pick any card you want. Okay, take a look at it. You can have a different card if you want. You want that card or you want a different one? You want to keep that card or you want a different one? You want to keep you want to keep that card? Okay. This is a Sharpie pen, okay? As you see, it's got a point here. <laughs> I think that's why they call it Sharpie, right? Okay, take the pen and write anything you want on the valued side of the card. Don't write on the red side. You can write your name, you can put initials, you can put a square, you can put a half a crescent moon or whatever you want to put on there. Now, you don't really know what he's writing on there either, do you? I don't either. So I'm going to have to produce that very card to prove that that's that card because that makes that card a one-time only card. I can't, just because it's a certain 52 card, it has to be that card. Okay, right? True? Okay, you done? Okay, I'll take the pen back, okay? Then um, take the cards and put yours on top for now. Okay, on top? Okay. Now, do you watch detective shows? What's your favorite detective show? <laughs> Cold blanks, you asked me that. Oh, okay, remember Columbo? Yeah. Years ago? Yeah, everybody remembers Columbo, right? Okay, Columbo, he had a term called um, forensic evidence. What that means is that you would, if I would come into a room and touch a glass, Columbo could prove that Jerry Armstrong, me, touched that glass because my personal fingerprints would be on that glass, right? right so um, you actually touched those cards, you actually written something which we don't know what he wrote yet, and you couldn't even have your fingerprints on that card, right? But those cards should all feel the same, am I right? Yeah, each one should feel identical. Magicians, not alone being able to read minds, we're fast too, very, very fast with our hands. I'll take the cards. I'm going to shuffle these as long as you want me to shuffle. When you say stop, I'm going to try to find that card as fast as I can. Okay? Stop. Stop already? Okay. I'll put these behind my back and see how fast I can find this card. It's done. Imagine that. Take these cards. Your card should be right on top. Oh, <laughs> Magicians are quite fast. Right? Okay, right? So help us stick around. Stick around. I'll shuffle these again. We'll see if I can do that again. Tell me when to stop. That's good. That stop there. Okay, I'm gonna put them behind my back and see if I can find that card again. You know, I'm having a harder time this time. Ah, okay. I don't know if I can find it or not. I think I did. I think I did. Okay. Take the cards. Okay. See if it's on top. Uh-oh. I have an out in case that happens. Would you take the lid off of that box? See the card inside? There's a card inside this box. It wasn't there before, okay? Right? But is that your card? Let's see. Okay. Take a look at the box. Open it up and see if that's your card. Oh, oh man. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. That was inside, and you can keep that as a souvenir. You know, um, magicians never repeat a trick. And the reason they don't repeat a trick is you can be caught. Okay? But 
you like this so well, I'm actually going to repeat this trick. And in the, in the chance of maybe I can be caught, okay, right? I don't mind being caught. If you can catch me, then you, you could be a magician yourself, right? Um, let's take someone else up here. Let's see. Um, yeah, Ned, come on up. Yeah. Ken, Ken, come on up, Ken. Yeah. <laughs> come on up, Ken. We'll do this again and um, see if you can catch me this time. He likes magic. So. Really? Yeah. Did you ever, did you want to become a magician? Or can you do magic? Huh? <laughs> All right. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll show you how easy it is that I'm going to do a magic trick after this, and Ken will be able to learn this in less than four minutes. <coughs> and this is a killer magic trick, okay? Isn't this something? I'm a teacher of magic, and what I want to do is get people to start doing magic. I like to get you going about three illusions that you can do, and once you do that, people say, hey, you got any other ones? You know, we're tired of seeing those three. And then you have to go out and try to get more magic if you want to keep being a magician. After you get about 10 of them, then you can start charging to do your own show, see? There you go. So that's right. Pay pretty good, does it? Actually, it does pay pretty good, okay? It all pays, if you would like to learn how pay works with a magician, it works the same way it does with television. If you're good enough, people will pay to have their ads along with you while you're doing magic. If you could, like on YouTube, I can do magic. And there's a place in the Philippines that heard about me and they wanted me to do some magic for them, okay? And they actually paid me $1,000 a week to come over and do eight shows. And they paid for my trip over there. And they let me stay in a five-star hotel for three weeks. Okay, so that's, you can make good money. And the reason they paid me this kind of money is because they got a lot of business. What happened is this. I did eight one-hour shows, but I couldn't repeat. I had to do a different illusion for eight hours, okay? And so when people are watching YouTube, I stop after 30 minutes and I say, hey, I'm a guy that lives in Fort Wayne, Indiana, but I'm here in the Philippines right now. And you know, in Fort Wayne, January and February, it gets really cold. In fact, snow can get knee deep. But over here in the Philippines, no matter what month, January and February, even, it's still on, it's 85 in the day, 75 at night. It's like paradise here. And the real nice thing is too, is not like Florida where cost of living is higher. Over here, your money goes seven times further. So you come with a little bit of money, you can do an awful lot in the Philippines. So um, instead of actually going to Florida for the winter or something, think about coming over here. In fact, I have a guy that has one of these resorts. Would you come here for a second? He comes in, he just says his name, says the number where they can get a hold of him, he leaves. And in the show, I reintroduce him again. They got a huge response out of that, and they want me to come back. Okay, so, so, it's, um, so you can, if, it, if it's marketed correctly, you can make a lot of money. So that's how it works. Okay, first, again, make sure that's empty. And anybody else who wants to check it, go right ahead. Any of you out there think you might have missed it? Huh? Okay. Okay. And I'll put I'll put this over here on the table and have you guard it. Okay? Just like that. Put your hand there. Now put your card in there. I'll tell you what. Here, uh, here's here's these cards, all the cards. Okay. You can shuffle them up. You're probably wondering, is that card in there now? Are you? Are you wondering that? Open it up and take a look. Make sure there's nothing. Nope, it's empty. Anybody else want to see it? Only me. Okay. And you, um, you're, again, you're left handed, did you say? You're left handed. So which hand are you going to put on top? Okay. You can put either one. Nope, here. I have right here. Okay, very good. Okay. Just hold, it, hold on to that. I got it? Okay. Now I'll take these cards. Take any card you want. <coughs> Got it? Okay, look at the card. And if you want one of these other ones, you can. Do you want to keep that card? I'll keep this. You want to keep that one? Okay. I always give you a choice. Here's that Sharpie pen back. Now I'll write anything you want on that card because I have to produce that card. As you see, these are all different cards. So, 
Are you done? Yep. Okay. I'll take the pin back. Okay. And I'll give you the deck. Put yours on top for now. Okay. okay. Now I'll see if I can as fast find his card like I did before. Now that's pretty good, okay? I'm gonna shuffle this. You can tell me when to stop, okay? Okay. Whoops. Got one, don't worry about it. There it is. Hope that wasn't yours. Got one on the floor. Okay. Stop there? That's good. Okay, I'm gonna put these, hope that wasn't it. I'll put these behind my back, see how fast I can find your card. Okay. It's done. Your okay. card should be right on top. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's back on top, just that way. Isn't that fast? Okay. I'll put that back in the deck. We might need that. There you go. Okay, put it in there somewhere. Okay, I'll shuffle these up again. You say when to stop. Okay. Stop there? Okay, I'm going to put these behind my back. Again, I'll see if I can find your card. Yeah. Nothing, is there? Yeah. Nothing in there? Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Take a look at the cards. Okay. See if yours is on top. Nope. Yeah. That's not it? Yeah, I went, I went now, up. take the lid off of that. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't in there a second ago, was it? No. You shook it, it wasn't. Now it's in there. But is, we'll see if that's your card, okay? Here's the box, empty box bag. Yep. <laughs> that's it. That's it. It was in that box. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Big hand for Stick around while I do one more. With you. Keep him awake. <laughs> Keep him awake. Okay. First 10 hours today. Tell you what. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I got a box in there. Yeah. Yeah. Put a couple of them here. Put a box in there. Okay. I only got one here. Let's see. There's some napkins. Could you go over and get a couple of those napkins off that table? Okay, now pick one of those napkins. That one? Okay. So that's the one you need, right? Sure. Okay. Oh, that's the one you want? Okay. Is that the one you want? Yeah, it is right now. Okay. Then open it up, would you? Very good. Hand me the napkin. I'll keep it this way. Have you, have you ever heard of Harry Potter? Yeah, I have. Have you, do you remember the bird on Harry Potter? No, I don't yeah, I, 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 there's, Oh, there's a lot of birds. The, the, owl, the, owl. the, the phoenix? Oh, no, the, uh, I was talking about his owl. Yeah, that is, he's owl, but there's one called the phoenix. Do you remember the mythical legend of the phoenix? Mm -hmm. It kept burning itself up. Very good, very good. It renews itself. It burns itself up <coughs> and becomes a brand new baby bird. This napkin you picked, we're going to see what we, if we can renew this napkin. Here's a lighter. I'm sure it's a real lighter. Or you can use your lighter if you want. I don't want a lighter. No. Okay. Go ahead and light it up. A lot of places don't like me putting fire in there. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm going to set it since they want them off. See, box, I'll take the lighter back. So okay. Put your hand on fire. See how red it is yet? Hold your hand like this. I'm going to try not to burn here. Okay? <laughs> okay, very good. I'm going to put this in your hand like so. Got it? Just like that. Like that. Got it? Okay. Now I'm going to find something like a magic wand. I'll use this. Okay? Do you know any magic words? Abracadabra. Hey, that's a good one. Okay. You say abracadabra, I'll wave the magic wand. Abracadabra. Very good. Now slowly release your hand. That's something <laughs> impossible, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it is. yes. Yeah. Well, here you go. You can have that napkin and okay. examine it. Okay. okay. Thank you for a big hand for coming.
How many minutes have I got? Forty-seven. Okay, I still need some more. Mentalist. I've actually learned from a magician named Banachek. Okay, and Banachek, you don't know much about Banachek, but have any of you ever heard of Chris Angel, magician? Okay, Chris Angel. If you see Chris Angel, you see Banachek with him. He he's always hangs around with him. Banachek has been the third for the last three years, the world's best mentalist and magician. And I know Banachek, okay? Chris Angel, I see him maybe once a year, but Banachek, I can talk to him. He's talking some stuff. And this is a deck of cards, of course. And, okay, all, okay, all different cards. What I'm going to do is, um, hmm, what did I pick up? Who haven't I called on yet? Aha, there we go, okay. Now, of these cards, I want you to pick any card you want. Okay. Do any want? Okay, got it. I don't want to see it. Okay. You, can, you can show the camera and you can show everybody else. I don't want to see it, okay? Now hide this card. Hide the card somewhere on your person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I turn around now? Oh, sure. Okay, good. Okay. Now, I have no fun to play cards with because I can actually look across and tell what you have in your hand if you're sitting across from it. And so, your card is a red card. Oh, okay. And your card's a heart. It's a jack of hearts. <laughs> of all these cards, yours is the jack of hearts. Wow. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. That's pretty good. Yeah. You definitely, definitely don't want to play cards with a magician. <laughs> Here's the box. Here's the box. Oh, okay. The box here? Okay. And learn this magic illusion. Okay. Okay. And I'll, I'll do the trick once, okay, for you. Ken, pick any card. Look at the card. Okay. Now, take the deck, put your card on top. Now cut the deck, put some on top, put half on top, half on bottom. Go ahead and cut them again, okay? Go ahead and cut them again. Very good. You can cut them again if you want. You know where your card's at? It's in, in there somewhere. It's in there somewhere. <laughs> I, I sure hope it is. Okay, now I'm going to look in your eyes and tell you what your card is. Okay. Okay? Sometimes it helps if I look at the cards. Okay. Okay. Are you thinking of the card? Okay. Are you? Okay, I'm going to give you the cards back. Uh, Ken, you're coming. This is Ken. Ken's going to do a magic illusion. I just taught him, okay? And um, we'll have him do it for... You come on up. Yeah, yeah, you come on up. Mm -hmm. We'll see if he can do it for you, okay? Talk kind of loud if you can, so the camera can pick you up. It's hot. <laughs> It's on. No, it's, it's, on. it's 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 on. It's
see if I see it here. Okay, it's a black card. Yeah. It's a spade, maybe. How about ten? Put on top there, maybe. And there you go. Holy! Awesome. 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 There we go. There we go. Ken will be able to do that for the rest of his life. There we go. As long as he practices. As long as okay. When you you have to learn to do the gag thing, it takes a long time to learn how to do that. This will go all the way down to here, which is right at the end of my room, my stomach side. Then I pull it back out. Okay. You see this in circuses a lot, right? Okay. I wanted to show you anyway. How that okay. <laughs> to show you, you shouldn't try swallowing swords no, no. unless you have an illusion like this. <laughs> a lot of things are a lot of fun, and that's what they do.